This is from Duke Math Meet back in 2015. Of course, we're talking about integer solution here with three variable x, y, z. They're symmetrical, so it's okay to assume x is greatest, z is smallest. We try to find x. Now, if you turn this into a expression here, it's going to be this, and this happens to be related to a famous factoring here. You may be surprised that the left-hand side can be factored. I have a video on that. Check it out. So we're going to skip the steps for the factoring, but the left-hand side can be factored as this. Okay, it's symmetrical in x, y, z. Now, we have integer solutions, so we're talking about two different integers, but you want to further rewrite the second part in terms of x plus y plus z. You know, you want x plus y plus z squared and minus certain cross terms here, you're going to have this. So how do we factor 63? There's only a few possibilities. Notice that uh, this all impossible. Why? For example, I take is if this is 7, the whole thing is 7 here, right? And this whole thing would be 9. But then this is a multiple of 3. This has to be a multiple of 3. But 7 squared is not a multiple of 3. So it's impossible. So all these are impossible. Only this one is possible. That is, x plus y plus z would equal 21. And the whole thing here equals 3, right? If you plug in 21 here, and you try to find this pairwise product sum here, yeah? So that is 146. Now, how do we solve integer solution for this equation here, right? So here, we're going to go back to the original expression here, the factor. So remember that one, yeah, is easier to work with. You're going to know why in a minute. Now, of course, you plug in 21 here, right? So this whole thing would be 3. And we want to multiply by 2. And then we complete the square. That happens to be the sum of squares equals 6. Okay, so all these are very commonly used algebra tricks. You know, you should, you should know very familiar with different form of this, right? So this, if you see this, you know that this is one half of the sum of squares, right? So if you multiply by 2, and then the sum of squares. Since there are integers and squares, integer squares can only be, you know, 0 and 1 and 4, right? So, and it's more than 6. So the only possible way is this is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 4, right? So which was the biggest one? Because we know that x is greatest. So the difference of x and z is the biggest. So this would be 4. In other words, x is z plus 2, right? And this would be 1 and 1. You know, y is z plus 1. x is y plus 1. The answer is x equal 8. The key to this problem, of course, is the factoring of the original polynomial. I have a video on that. So check it out from the link in the description. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.